the day after they arrested many of my friends, they called me, they ordered me to go to the police office. I remember that I called my mom and I said they, uh, they called me and I have to go. My mom said, if you think you need to hide yourself, I can help you. I was born in a Muslim family and I knew I have to do my duty and prayer as a Muslim, but I never had joy and peace in my life. I never felt presence of God in my life. I was about 19 years old. I was in deep darkness through one of my family members. I went to church for the first time. And yeah, I had this experience to be in really presence of God for the first time there. In Iran, it's not easy to talk about Jesus. It's very dangerous. It's banned to have Bible. And I couldn't stop talking about Jesus. Sometimes I had with myself 50 Bible to share with people if they found out I have Bible. Even one of them, they could arrest me. The day they arrested me, they put me in solitary confinement. It was the most difficult experience in my life, but I can say it was the best experience in my life. It was so hard. I'm not a hero, and I didn't like to be alone, and I had to be alone in solitary confinement for 25 days. Several times I asked my interrogator to give Bible to me and they said we cannot give it to you. But God himself started to remind me verses I never memorized. I needed to hear. I needed to encourage me. One day when I was in interrogation, I could hide my pen and bring it to my cell, which is very big, like a big crime. Every verses God gave me, I started to write on prison wall, and prison wall became my Bible. It was full of different verses. God reminded me there, I never memorized. There wasn't any hope for me. I didn't know how long I will stay in prison. Are they going to kill me there, keep me forever there? But. Through that Bible verses, God gave me hope. Cell was very small and nothing there. It was winter. I had just very thin carpet on conquer floor. And during days I was there, I desperate to have human contact with somebody, even with that angry guard. When they arrested us, my interrogator told me, you are here for at least five years. And I was in prison just for 37 days. When they released us, I knew this is a miracle. This is the answer of many people around the world praying for us. When I went back home, when they released me, the first thing I find my Bible, just maybe for 37 days, I didn't have it, but I really felt without my Bible, I cannot live. I can be thirsty, I can live without food and without, you know, water, but I cannot live without Word of God. <laughs> 